to a live now. Hey guys, um, we're out here in Kapanda where the old railway station is. Um, no, no longer trains come through. You can see there's tracks on the ground here, goes right into the bush. Um, also, the other side, exactly the same thing. Um, pretty freaky to see this, you know, where the trains don't come through. Um, pretty amazing, actually. Julia found this and trying to do a, we'll do a live screen from here for a few minutes. Um, down at the Kapanda graveyard, my phone went flat. Um, it was an incident night, pretty slow, not what it made out to be for us. Um, the people who come out with us are great, great friends now. Um, I'd like to thank you for them for coming, me and Julia from both of us. Um, but it was a fantastic night, so we're just coming out to the old rail. It's a little bit early. The, tra um, the train station is just on the other side. I'll give you a look at a bit down here. So the railway goes up here, and um, you can still see the old posts. And so they're all still here, but no longer a train runs through. They've actually turned the old railway station into a house, and the pub next door is now a house um, so they've redone that but I thought maybe there's some residual energy who knows it's always good to try um, so I thought I'd come here tonight and show you the old railway uh, Kapunda's full of history um, big mining town history there was a big train Chase if you go look straight ahead it looks like a, a light but it's only lights yeah. of houses it's not a ghost train. It'd be fun though. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a lot of houses around here. It's a residential area now. But it used to be a big mining town. And um, this would transport all the, the miners to the town and and things like this are just left here so that's what I love about the history of the place I mean it's like it wasn't that long ago all this stuff happened but this railway would have been used back in 1800s it was actually opened in 1860 so that was quite a while back and um, yeah so See a lot of the rails here and yeah. it looks like nothing's been touched. Go for a walk up here a little bit, eh? Mm -hmm. As you can see guys, the old railway quite surprising. It hasn't been ripped up. Um Julia thinks that we might, you know, when we got here we did hear like a train. But we know there's no trains here. Um that's, that's the weird thing about it. In Kapunda, there's no train station. As Julie said, the train's been turned into a train station. This isn't a house now. And it's up for sale too, if you want to look it up. Um, yeah, so what we'll do, we'll go for a drive. Oh, do up the other end, yep. I'm just going to show you some of the old pump house that they used. Pretty cool to see this. There's a big ditch on the side of it so I'm really worried we're gonna slip down there. <laughs> and there's and there's no laughing either guys if you if you see me fall over or the camera go flying. Um, so this is our last live feed from Kapunda. It will be tonight. We'll go this way. Walk around it. But you know I recommend people do come down here. People are great. The museum people fantastic really active. Uh, really active in there too if you want to do a ghost hunt in there like but well, this is just a nice park now with lots of ducks and things like that but we've still got the railway house up here where they kept the controls the pump house so um there's even a little sign saying that it is
again it's just been left here since the 1800s so kind of um, it's really kind of weird the railway um, house railway station opened in 1860 but closed in something like 1920 so it's amazing how much stuff's just been left behind so there's the old pump house The old pump house. I can't get it close if I tried. There you go. If you can read that, that's what's got 1860 to 1870 when the railway reached Berna. So, so that's a pretty old pump house, and you can see the trains are no longer here. Um, so we're just out here to check to show you guys what's out here in Kapunda. Um, we'll show you, we'll turn you on in a few minutes. We'll show you a um, old pub that's just down the road. It's now a private resident, but you can see where it was a big two story old pub. And that was back in the 1800s as well and it was partially damaged by fire in the 1900s but people actually turned it into a home but the the ruins of it's still there and we can kind of give you a quick glimpse of we'll just leave it on live just hold it in the car as we drive over there's only five minutes two seconds up the road you want to walk up there do you want to walk it doesn't bother me yeah. all right we might just go for a bit of a walk to show you um what kapanga looks like at night here but this here is a homemade man dave man water there for all the ducks you got up here <laughs> and the stars out here guys you're not gonna believe it it's so beautiful never seen stars as bright as this up here At the moment, we're just gonna take a walk, or we could drive it. It takes about a couple of seconds by drive. Hey, Libby! Whoa, what was that? Trees. Was it? So yeah, me and Julia just checking this area out where the old railway station is. The lines, as Julia said, there's no more trains coming through here. So if anybody's going to come to Kapanda, I do recommend coming. Uh, if you love history, this is the place for you. Because the houses that were built 200 years ago are still here today exactly the way they were 200 years ago, so it's worth a look. Hey Hazy, you can see there's not much traffic down here guys in Kapunda, walk a bit on the way, not like Sydney, you try this in Sydney, you'll get flattened. Flyer. Should we drive up there or walk it? Yeah, I'm gonna get Julie to hold the phone as we drive up there. Oh, oh, no. Just gonna wait for a couple of seconds. Um, so it's coming off and on all the time. But this is our last stream. From here we're going to Hondor. Hondor. Hondor, and the German village up there. So it should be pretty cool. But yeah, the old whale is just, you don't see it often. Hey Andrew, get your back on. <laughs> but wait for this car past. Yeah, just wait for this car to come past. It's still, it's still coming. But there, uh, and it's let you guys go. It, it is a bit cold up here, down here. You can see Julie's all rugged up. <laughs> Got three layers of clothing and a beanie underneath 
with this hood. <laughs> it's freezing. So, but me and Julie, you know, like, we're definitely going to have to come back here. Um, there's just so much history down here, it's not funny. Um, so I'm going to give the phone to Julie to hang on to as we get in the car. We point it out there so you can see where we're going. I reckon if we were in there, it'd be unreal. The wind's died down, that's a good thing. And it's been horrible weather up in um, down in South Australia. Um, but it's been very dry out here, so the locals will be loving life at the moment because everywhere's just dry. used to look like. It was on the same street. Yeah. And this place is very quiet at night. It's just dead. show you what this old building looks like up here. Just oh. oh. across the road here is a really old building. Um, it's caught on fire. Julie will tell you about it. What time is there here? Uh, about 9.30. Yeah, about 9.30 there, guys. It's half an hour time difference between South Australia and South Africa. So it's a shame this building caught on fire. That's that. It's a beautiful old building. I'll show you on the front of this building. Guys, we're gonna fly. There's some good arguments going on down here. We're hearing in the background. Gotta fly. <laughs> 